hey guys welcome back welcome back to our channel in case if you are new to this channel means please subscribe to our channel well now in this video i am going to share you the windows 11 new software update so this software is actually under the beta version so but it's a microsoft own software so this software name is called uh, pc manager so microsoft is actually uh, bringing up this pc manager so it is almost similar to the c cleaner we are already seeing uh, c cleaner third party application using c cleaner cleaner you can able to clear so some of the unwanted catch files and temporary files and also you can able to clear the registry entries like that for the uninstalled softwares so similar to that microsoft is actually so building this pc manager software so currently it is in the public beta version and i will show you how to install that so it is not available through microsoft store so i'll show you how to install that so it's an official microsoft application only and also you can able to install in a, a all the windows 11 version whether if you are in a developer channel beta channel or in a, or in a release preview channel so you can easily download this pc manager i'll show you after that so in the pc manager so now let's have a look on what are all the feature it actually contains so once you open the application so this is how the app is actually looks like so at the bottom here is a cleanup option and there is a security option so in the security option there is a one of the important feature so once you go to the browser protection and there is an option called blockchain by malicious apps so once you by default it will be in the turn off condition so once you enable this option in case if, uh, if without your knowledge any malicious apps is actually installed in your pc means so uh, whenever if any harmed apps is actually installed means it try to change the default browser so once you enable that you can able to block the things and also you can able to change the default browser to whatever you want you can change the default browser here and once you go back and under the cleanup option and here you can able to see the option boost so currently there is a temporary files available for 5.3 gb so you can able to clean all the temporary files once you simply click on the boost option and also there is a health check option once you tap on that and once you start to check the health so you will get a results like this you will find the results like a windows catch how much available browser catch temporary files like that so you can able to just click on the proceed option so that uh, so all that uh, windows catch and temporary files browser catch will be cleared from your pc so these are all uh, will actually helps your pc or laptop to make uh, further faster now the health check has been completed so just click on the done and like that you can also boost your pc or laptop just click on the boost option now the temporary files has been reduced so normally we do all these things with the help of the third party application so for that we also pay for that also but now microsoft is actually brings this uh, their own pc manager application so that you can able to use your windows 11 pc with a more faster so using this uh, software and also there is a more option here so storage management so you can also clean up your storage so once you click on the deep cleanup so it will actually uh, scan so system cleanup and the recycle bin web catch so all the things we you can able to monitor here once you click on the proceed so that is a 164.4 mb so it's actually available for the cleanup so just click on the proceed so that the cleanup is actually completed and also you can able to manage the large files so it, it is also one of the important feature so if in case if your c drive is actually fill up means and in case if you want to delete uh, some of the files means you can just select whether you want to 1 gb more than file or 100 day 100 mb more than file like that so just to select your option and click on the view in explorer so in the file explorer so you can able to get the, all the files filtered with more than 100 mp so it will be really helpful for me because uh, so here i can able to find uh, so a lot of exe file in the same file name so that we can easily able to so delete all these things instantly so by this way also this pc manager will really help us uh, to clean up our pc or laptop so this is a one more so this is one option and also you can able to manage the apps so it is a so it is a shortcut option once you click on that it will actually go to the installed app settings and after that here is a storage sin it is also a shortcut option and finally and and then here is a two more option which is a process management and then a startup apps so the process management is a really good one once you click on that so you can able to find what are all the 
uh, what are the processes actually running on the background so you can end that easily so what are in case if uh, some unknown process is actually running in the background mean which will definitely make your pc or laptop become slower so that uh, you can easily able to end all that background process so that your pc will be more faster you didn't know about that process means you can end that because it will uh, not need it so like that you can able to manage and also here is a startup apps in the startup apps option so here you can able to find what is the last startup boot up time so for my pc it is a five seconds so like that for your pc or laptop you can able to find that and also by minimizing the startup apps you can able to so improve the boot up time and also here you can able to find the high impact apps and low impact apps like that so if any apps it actually comes with the high impact means just turn off that and that's it so this will actually makes your pc uh, works more faster and next time it will actually boot up means it will be fastly boot up so last time it is five seconds so if this time if i am actually boot up means it will actually takes less than five seconds only so like this most of the option is available here in this pc manager so it is one of the really a good software to update in your windows 11 pc to make your pc or laptop to be faster and uh, so in the storage management you can able to find so what is the exact memory is available and all the details you can able to find and uh, often you can uh, just to open this software and click on the boost so that the temporary files will be cleared and this software is uh, not having a feature called uh, so cleaning up the registry files so in the c cleaner and uh, and in the other third party application so you can able to clean up the registry files also in, in case if you are actually uninstalling a software so cleaning up registry files is important because if you actually installing a software means a registry file has been created so after you uninstalling that particular registry file will be always available in the pc itself so this will actually indirectly so make your pc slower so for that only we need a registry cleanup but that feature is not available in this pc manager as like in the c cleaner like that but this microsoft pc manager currently in the beta version only so that is the official version need to come and there is a lot more updates is need to come so definitely in the future we'll get the registry cleanup so in the upcoming updates so overall so if you are using a windows 11 or any windows 10 based pc also so this uh, microsoft new pc manager software will really helpful for your pc to make your pc so works more faster and finally now how to install this software so to install this software i have given the link in the description just to click on that so this is the microsoft chinese website so just to go to that website and also you can change the language to english and after that here you can able to find the option free download load just to click on that so it is a public beta version and it's a chinese microsoft site so uh, this is how it actually looks like and you have to uh, install a setup a exe file and after that just to uh, install that exe file so, so that you can use this microsoft pc manager well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel means please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys